differently. Uh, and uh, we uh, and uh, Ronald is looking for partners across the globe for to join him in the moment of steeped moment. Uh, honestly, I don't know what is steeped moment. So Ronald, I'm going to start with you. The first question: What is steeped moment, and why it is so dear to you? Well, you know, steeped coffee um, is dear to me because I've been involved in coffee most of my life. You know, I started right out of Santa Clara University in 1978 in the coffee business. And now I'm a VP of sales for a company that has created an innovative technology to take high quality specialty coffee, a half an ounce per bag per eight ounces, and put grind the coffee using a water-cooled grinder so that we don't re-roast it and then put it in a bag like tea so that you just use hot water. So no equipment is needed. And we have a fully compostable product. Taking that moment, we call it that simple cup, just hot water and coffee and enjoying the coffee, the smell of the coffee, um, sitting, meditating on that and just uh, embracing, like you said earlier, the positive, you know, this moment where I can just meditate and be positive about enjoying this beautiful cup of coffee, simplistically made, fully compostable, you know, we call it guilt-free, French press without the mess. Um, <laughs> and um, so that's why I love it. And I've been, in, like I said, I've been in coffee my whole life and I've never found, I never found anything as disruptive. So I invested in the company last year and then left a large company in d January and started full time helping to scale steeped. How do you, so you're talking about like coffee, which means caffeine, which people are generally averse to the idea of caffeine and meditation. They're like two different, uh, two different things, right? How do you, how do, how are you high on caffeine and still you want to meditate on caffeine? How do you do that? <laughs> well, you know, I think it's interesting. Like a lot of people, like for me, I think you enjoy the smell of the coffee. We capture coffee being freshly ground and use nitrogen to keep it six months fresh. And when you open it, it still smells like it was just ground. Um, there's something about smelling coffee. It's, uh, you know, obviously when you first smell it, it's not like the caffeine has an effect on you, right? But um, we've been raised, you know, in America on coffee and people love coffee. It's special. It's a social thing. People met around the coffee table, you know, in the kitchen for years. And it's about building relationship really. So I think you can have a cup of coffee and a little bit of caffeine and not have it affect your ability to really focus on, you know, that social personal thing. Also smells and tastes are connected to memories and oftentimes memories around the coffee table in fam with family and friends is very special. So it can take you to that place of being meditative, even though there's some, uh, you know, caffeine. Now a lot of the coffee we have is, you know, decaf to Swiss water process, naturally decaf. So it doesn't matter whether it's caffeinated or not. It's about that simple cup, that moment, taking that moment, that balance, you know, before you really start your day. Excellent. Excellent. Great to know about the business, uh, Ronald. Uh, you, you want people to go on, they go in the Nirvana movement, moment uh, through coffee, meditating, having relationship with you, with their friends and families. They can remember your coffee while they're talking and, uh, uh, having good conversations. That's an excellent, um, excellent purpose to serve uh, with your coffee. Uh, thank you so much, Marco, for coming on board today morning.